if you want to see how we got these awesome door lights installed on the G35, sit tight because I have a video for you. Before I get started with the install, I wanted to give a shout out to 74 Mopar Z. Thank you for the donation, Casey. Um, link will be in the description to his channel. Subscribe to him. If you want a shout out, anything over $10 in the donations gets you a shout out in my next video. So keep that in mind. We're going to get started now. Hey everyone. So today we're going to be installing door projector lights. They're also known as puddle lights, but when you open your door, it'll project an image on the ground. Well, I got four different ones for four different branches of the military. It comes with the tools you need to install them, which is basically a hole saw with a drill bit. So you will need a drill. Uh, I have solder, heat shrink, wire, solder iron, and uh, tape and stuff like that, because that's what we're gonna need to get these installed. So we'll get over there and start installing them. So obviously one of the first things you're gonna wanna do is test to see which one is which, because they're not labeled, all they have is part numbers. So I think I'm gonna go for the Air Force on the driver door since it's Air Force based theme and the driver is always in the cockpit. So we're gonna go with Air Force. So I gotta figure out which one's the Air Force. I'm gonna start with this one. If you already know which one is which, then you can go ahead and skip this step. Got it on my first try. So this is the Air Force. This one will be going on the driver's side door. While you're at it, you can find out which ones go to the other ones. And then once you get that, go to the next step. Make sure to disconnect the battery. You will have to reconnect it whenever we go to check for power, but make sure it's disconnected prior to doing this. All right, now if your car doesn't have lights right here from the factory, you will have to run extra wiring. Uh, negative will be anywhere on the ground that has a good contact point. And then the positive wire, you can run it either to the door lights. When you open the door lights, they'll come on, or you can run it to a toggle switch. This one has the door light right here from the factory. So we're just gonna be tapping into this and making sure the bulbs are taken out. All right, on some of the cars, you will have to remove the door panel, but that's usually not too terribly hard to do. I'm just gonna pop my cover here off to have access to those wires. And these are the wires that run the factory door light. It looks like this. So we're just gonna cut into that. Keep the old connector and your old door light just in case you ever want to put it back in. Make sure there's wire on there. Now you'll need to figure out which one's positive and typically the red one is positive. After you see how lit up it is, you can kind of put it around down here and see where you'd want it. I think I want mine about right here. So I'm gonna disconnect this, drill a hole, run the wires up through there, solder and heat shrink, and we'll be done on this one. Sorry about the video cutting out. I soldered the connections, heat shrink, and electrical taped around those, and uh, I'll show you what I did on the rest. All right, so now we're back at the back passenger door. Uh, I wanted to show you a trick to getting wires through these connector looms here. Um, basically, you're gonna get on the back side where there's a panel on the inside. You're gonna feed a wire through. Like this. This will be a positive, it's just black. I know what it'll be. So 
you'll take a wire like this, take your screwdriver, and basically kind of tape the wire to it, and then you'll fish it through. So you basically just move it through like this until you get to the other end. You'll grab the wire. While holding the wire, pull the screwdriver back through. And now it's on the other side of the loom. Now you'll reconnect the factory harness and push it back through. Just like that. Now we're going to run that positive wire down into the front. All right, so I found the yellow and pink wire and the red and black wire, followed it through to under the dash up in this harness, and I spliced, soldered, heat shrink, and electrical taped around it. Sorry, I didn't get that on video for you guys, but I just found the colors, matched them up to it, ran the wires back into this. So now we can go open the back door and we can focus on the inside of that. All right, so now we got driver door done, passenger front door done. We're gonna focus on this back one, got all the wiring ran for it through the door. And after we're done with this one, I'll hit that one and we'll be done. Now we have the back passenger door done. We have the front passenger door done. And then we have the driver door done. And now we have to do driver rear, which that'll be the Navy. All right, now it's time to do the back driver side door. Alright, so I'm only able to actually use one of them because it projects such a large area onto the trunk mat. So I'm only going to be able to use one of these. I decided to use the Air Force since that's basically the theme of the vehicle. So I'm just going to drill the hole and tap into this light where the trunk light naturally is. All right, here's with the Air Force lit up in the trunk. That little dot's where it's coming from. So I couldn't have fit all four because this trunk's just not big enough for that. But it looks pretty cool, and it'll come on only when the trunk is opened. It's a lot brighter in person, so you can't really get the feel for it on this camera, but. Simple install, looks really good. Uh, and it's activated by the switch here. So as you see, when the door opens, they come on, on all the doors. So even if only one door is open, they'll all four be on until that door's shut. It goes off what your dome light goes off of. So it's a pretty simple install, looks really cool. Well, here it is with the lights installed on both sides and it looks really good and they're really bright. It's harder to see the one here in the trunk, but in person, it's really bright. Well, that sums up the install on the door projector lights for all four branches of the military here. Uh, we didn't get Coast Guard, I'm sorry about that, but we do respect you as well. Thanks for keeping our borders safe. I wanted to give a shout out to Grunt Style for some awesome apparel that they make, and they are owned by veterans, so definitely go check them out. Link will be in the description and on the screen. If you like bacon and freedom, share this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, turn the bell notifications on, drop a comment, and definitely share the video because I like bacon and I like freedom. And uh, we support our troops here at More Motorsports, as you can see. So stay tuned for more videos, everyone. We'll have more coming. Work on Casey Civic and uh, check out his channel since he gave us a donation of 
$10 or higher, I'm not going to say how much he gave, but we appreciate it. Um, if you want to get in on that, link will be in the description for my PayPal. Donate anything over 10 bucks, and I will put your YouTube channel in my next video with a link to your channel. Thanks for watching. God bless.